So problem number one under springs. A helical coil spring has a mean coil diameter of 1 inch and a wire diameter of 1 over 8 inch. Determine the wall's factor of the spring. Letter A, 1.148. Letter B, 1.418. Letter C, 1.184. And letter D is 1.814. So solution for this. So we have already the formula for the wall's factor. So it is designated by the variable K sub W. So, ang formula niyan guys is 4C minus 1 over 4C minus 4 plus 0.615 over C. Yung C guys is yung ating spring index which is equal siya sa mean diameter divided by the wire diameter. So, kung mapapansin nyo guys, yung uh, spring index natin na C may binigay dyan na mean diameter so mean coil diameter of 1 inch so 1 inch kunin natin yung uh, spring index muna guys so divided by the wire diameter binanggit guys sa problem is 1 8 inch so cancel out yung uh, units na inches so matitira is uh, unitless for our spring index so yung C natin dyan na makukuha guys is 8 yung C na yun substitute natin para makuha yung ating required which is the wall's factor so, for our walls factor, K sub W, substitute 4 times 8 minus 1 over 4 times 8 minus 4 plus 0.615 over 8. So, the answer will be, so, if we uh, solve this, this will become 1.184. So, unitless ang ating walls factor. So, this is our final answer. Ando siya guys sa letter C natin. Okay? So we proceed to the next problem. Problem number 2. What is the bursting steam pressure of a hemispherical steel shell with a diameter of 100 inches and made of 0 0.0635 meters thick steel plate if the joint efficiency is 70% and the tensile strength is 60,000 PSI? Choices are letter A, 4,020 PSI, letter B, 4,200 PSI Letter C 2,400 PSI And letter D 2,040 PSI For our solution So the formula For stress in uh, Spherical pressure vessel So stress is equals to PD over 40 Paano ko nasabing spherical? Binanggit sa problem guys Yung word na hemispherical Which is Ang ibig sabihin niyan Kalahate Ng sphere Yung ating uh, reference dyan na figure okay so may binanggit din na joint efficiency usually si joint efficiency guys is katabi lagi ng ating thickness okay so E sub J ganyan yung nagiging formula ng ating uh, pressure vessel sa sphere kung meron tayong binabanggit na joint efficiency laging katabi ng thickness so since sinayin sa problem guys is the steam pressure so i-derive natin gamit dito sa formula na to so, for our pressure, this will become 4S times thickness times joint efficiency divided by the diameter. So, yung unit guys na dapat natin ma-obtain in terms of pressure is PSI din. Kasi binangkit sa problem, yung uh, unit ng ating stress na 60,000 60, PSI. Okay? So, let's substitute guys. So, ang gagawin natin, yung 4, lagay natin dyan, tapos yung ating uh, stress since yan ay 60,000 PSI so pound force per square inch so multiplied by the thickness may binanggit na thickness dyan guys na 0 0.0635 meters so ang gawin natin dito is i-convert muna natin siya into uh, millimeter or i-convert natin into centimeter para mas mabilis tayo so times so, 1 meter, we have 100 centimeter. And then, yung centimeter, guys, i-convert natin papuntang inches. So, in 1 inch, meron tayong 2.54 centimeter. Okay? So, after that, so we have our joint efficiency na 70%. So, dito yan sa numerator din. So, divided by the diameter. Yung diameter natin dyan, guys, is 100 inches already meaning english unit na siya so check natin yung mga mga cancel out guys so centimeters tanggal so yung uh, ating meter tanggal 
Tapos yung ating inches, tanggal. So, matitira talaga na natin na unit dyan is pound force per square inch para sa ating pressure. So, if we are able to compute this, guys. So, let's solve for this. So, 4 times uh, 60,000 multiplied by 0 0.0635 times 100 times 1 over 2.54. So, times 70%. So, 70%. So, divided by 100. The answer will be 4,200 PSI. So, this will go under letter B. So, the answer for this problem is letter B. In terms of the bursting steam pressure. We proceed to problem number 3. Problem number 3. Two shafts, 3.6 meters between centers, carry pulleys 1.2 meter in diameter and 0.91 meter in diameter respectively, connected by a crossed belt. It is desired to put the belt on as an open belt. How long a piece must be cut of it? So, ang tinatanong dito guys, is yung ano yung magiging difference ng length ng ating uh, open belt connection doon sa magiging cross belt connection so ang tendency kasi gusto nung nagde-design na gawin na open belt yung uh, cross belt na connection okay so ang tendency isolve natin yung difference nung length nila so given natin guys so isulat muna natin no so yung ating center distance or yung C sub D natin is 3.6 meter or meters i-convert natin niya papuntang millimeters para mag-complement sa mga sagot natin sa choices so yan ay magiging 3600 mm so yung ating uh, yung uh, outside diameter natin guys yung ating D sub 2 is binanggit sa problem 1.2 meters or 1200 mm. So yung ating D sub 1 or yung ating uh, inner diameter is yung 0.91. So meters or meter, yan ay magiging 910 mm. And then una nating gawin guys, syempre consider natin yung uh, formula ng length ng open belt connection. So kung inyong maaalala For our length ng open belt, L sub O, equal yan guys sa formula na pi over 2 multiplied by D sub 1 plus uh, D sub 2 plus twice the center distance or C sub D plus the quantity of D sub 2 minus D sub 1 raised to 2. So divided by 4C. So yan yung gagamitin natin na formula. Direct sub na lang natin. So, pi over 2 multiplied by D sub 1 yan ay 910. So, ineglect muna natin yung mga units guys. Plus D sub 2 1,200 and then plus twice the center distance which is 3,600 and then plus the quantity. Yung numerator natin dyan guys is yung D sub 2 natin na 1,200 so minus 910 yung D sub 1 so squared mo siya divided by 4 times the center distance so C sub D dapat yan center distance which is 3,600 so solving for our length ng open belt ang lalabas dyan na sagot guys yung ating L sub O is 10,520.22 unit is millimeters On the other hand, let's consider the length ng cross belt connection natin. So, after we obtain the length of the open belt connection, so ngayon naman, ikunin din natin yung length naman ng cross belt connection. So, designate natin yan guys as L sub C. So, equal yan guys sa formula na pi over 2 multiplied by uh, D sub 1 plus D sub 2 plus twice the center distance so plus 
the sub, uh, the summation of d sub 2 plus d sub 1 squared mo yan over 4 times the center distance. So, substitute pi over 2. Neglect the units first. So, 9, 10 plus 1,200 plus twice the, the center distance which is 3,600 plus quantity summation ng 1,200 plus yung ating 910 squared mo yan divided by 4 times the center distance which is 3,600 so uh, let's solve for this so pi over 2 multiplied by 910 plus 1,200 plus 2 times 36 plus quantity 1,200 plus 910 raised to 2 over 4 times 3,600 the answer will be so, L sub C, this will become 10,823.56 mm. So, ang tinatanong sa atin guys, is how long a piece must be cut of it? So, dito lang natin ilagay na. So, for our change in length, so this will become L sub C minus L sub O. So, L sub C natin guys is uh, 10,823.56 So, minus, dito lang natin lagay na Minus 10,520.22 So, magiging unit nyan is mm So, let's solve for this So, 10,823.56 minus 10,520.22 The answer will become 303.56 34. So, ito yung sagot natin guys. Closest siya sa letter A natin. Okay? The answer for this is letter A. So, for our last problem, problem number 4 under machine design. A flywheel weighing 457 kilograms has a radius of 375 millimeters. How much energy in newton meters does the flywheel lost? From 3 revolutions per second to 2.8 revolutions per second. The choices are letter A, 368 newton meter, letter B, 150 newton meter, letter C, 1474 newton meter, and letter D, 38 newton meter. Our solution. So, pag ang uh, problem guys na na-encounter sa machine design about flywheel, usually. Uh, may involved na velocity So therefore, gagamitan mo siya ng formula ng kinetic energy Sa kinetic energy, may binanggit naman dyan guys no, Na dalawang condition, 3 revolutions per second Tsaka 2.8 revolutions per second So there are 0.1 and 0.2 So there is a change in kinetic energy here So equal yan guys sa formula natin na Mass multiplied by the velocity at 0.1 squared Minus the velocity at 0.2 squared so, divided by 2. So, we get the value of our velocities. So, velocity at point 0.1. So, may formula tayo for velocity. ba kung matatandaan ninyo. Yan ay equal sa pi d n. Or, kapag may binanggit na radius, automatic, 2 pi times the radius times the speed. Okay. So, either alin sa dalawa na dyan. So, binanggit naman sa problem, guys, is radius. So, gagamitin natin yung ito. 2 pi r n. So, for our velocity at point 0.1, so 2 pi, yung radius na binanggit guys, is yung ating uh, 375. Okay? So, point, uh, 0.375 meters. So, ang conversion yan, no? kasi naka-MM yan eh. So, point 0.375 meters or meter. And then, multiplied by the speed which is naka-revolutions per second. So, yan ay uh, 3. So, magiging unit nyo nito guys is uh, meters per second kasi yung revolution uh, equal naman sa ano, one cycle. So, one cycle is equals to one revolution. So, cancel out lang yon So, yung cycle is unitless. So, therefore, magiging final unit mo is meters per second. So, having that, we obtain 7.069 meters per second. On the other hand, we compute for the velocity at point 2. So, again, the formula, 2 pi. So, yung ating radius again is 0.375 so meters. 
So dito pa nalagyan na lang natin ng ano dito ng uh, second no. So cycle per second para mag-complement yung meters per second. Okay? So next thing to do here dito naman is 2.8 naman. 2.8 revolutions per second. So equal yan sa cycle. So cycle per second. So meters per second yung magiging answer mo for velocity at point 2. Lalabas diyan guys is 6. 597 unit is meters per second and if you have already the value of v sub 1 and v sub 2 substitute na natin para dito sa formula natin na to so change in kinetic energy so equal yan guys sa ating mass yung mass natin is 457 okay unit is kilograms so multiply natin sa velocity at 0.17.069 so squared So, minus uh, 6.597 squared. So, unit na itong mga to is meter squared per second squared. So, over 2. We all know, guys, na ang uh, 1 newton. So, 1 newton is equals to 1 kilogram of mass multiplied by meters per square second. So, yung meters per second squared natin, guys, sukunin natin siya dito. So, matitira is uh, isang meter do sa kabila. So, magiging newton meter yung final unit mo dyan. So, for our kinetic energy or change in kinetic energy, ang lalabas sa sagot dyan, guys, is 1,473.91. So, unit is newton meters. Okay? So, andun siya, guys, sa letter C. Equal yan sa 1,474 newton meters. So, this will be your final answer in problem number 4. So, nawa guys, may natutunan kayo sa ating mga sinunod na problem under machine design subject ng mechanical engineering. So, magamit nyo nawa ito sa pagre-review sa board exam and preparation no sa inyong uh, mga nalalapit na exam sa school. Okay? So, this is Engineer John Digia. Maraming salamat sa panonood and God bless us all.